Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another fantastic day and another fantastic episode of Gibberish. I am Adam. I'm Blake. Yes, he is. I don't know what he's looking at, but <laughs> who cares? Because today we have something that's probably not super exciting, but it's different. It's it's a little different than anything we've done, which I feel like has kind of been a common theme with a lot of the stuff that we've been doing um, as you know, the past few episodes, we've gone with some whiskeys, uh, before that we were doing, uh, just different types of beer, mm -hmm. but we're going to kind of hop back onto the beer train for this episode today. We're going Irish. <laughs> that's not, that's almost Scottish. What the hell is wrong with it's you? It's the same thing. No, it is not. <laughs> oh, it's a hundred percent. Like basically the same thing. Lies. But today we are going with a classic, Smithix. Smithwicks? No. <laughs> no. No. No, no, no. So, even though it says Smithwicks, well, it reads Smithwicks. It does not say anything because it is a bottle. That's why I said it reads Smithwicks. <laughs> uh, I don't know if anybody out there has ever tried Smithix. Um, one of my personal favorites when I hit up the Irish bars in town. Yeah, rather um, than a Guinness and getting a heavy heavy stout beer. I'm not a big fan of Guinness. Uh, unpopular opinion for some people. Uh, but this is something that I could drink just about any day of the week. It is. It's just such a such an easy to drink. Beer. I, I don't think I don't think I could ever get tired of a Smittix. No, like I I feel like that's a beer I could drink almost every day. Yeah. And got one of my buddies, Corey, to thank for the introduction to this beer. Hi, Corey. <laughs> Hello, if you're watching. I don't know. He's, he's probably, busy. He's probably busy doing he's other busy. things. Uh, so I guess with that, we can go ahead and pop these open. Yeah, what are you pointing at? You got a bottle down there. I don't have a... Oh, it's like magic. I I've been holding <laughs> this the whole time. <laughs> I've got the whole world in my hands. Got the whole world in his pants. <laughs> I heard that song for the first time when I was a kid, and I thought it was, he's got the whole world in his pants. I saw <laughs> Stewart's horn. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong show. <laughs> All right, so we'll go with the... Uh, you the initial smell uh if you want to go ahead and start it i'll read this off here four and a half uh abv 11.2 fluid ounces a ruby red brew with a gentle hop bitterness and a sweet malt finish irish made Ooh. <laughs> red ale <laughs> that teeth click it was a little a little aggressive Smittix has been brewing in Ireland for over 300 years. Like the castle at the heart of Kilkenny, where Smith Smittix was founded, <laughs> our brews have stood the test of time. This ruby red it. brew earned its rightful place as Ireland's most loved ale. Now brewed in Dublin, this red ale has a blend of mild hops, sweet malt, and roasted barley. All right. Well, it's a red ale. How's it smell? Yeah, it is a red ale. Well, you can see that more when we pour them, but I love this. It has smell. a very unique smell. It, to it, it does. You can. It's definitely. It smells more like that malt smell. Yeah. You can get that, but it also has a little bit of that hop, like they say. Yeah. It's. Oh, it's just. It's so good. It. It. It, it, it honestly. It makes me feel good. It's like smell. I'm. It's like I'm huffing it almost. It's like it does. It feels. It's one of those things that it just. It's got. It's got a good smell. Yeah, it does. It really does. For some people, I think for some people who aren't like used to like anything other than like de regular domestics, like right. you know Bud Light, B Bush Light, and stuff like that, like it's it might be somewhat off putting. You know what I mean? Like people are like, yeah. "Wait, what?" Yeah, like that's not that's not what a beer smells like. Right. But then it's like then you're not drinking real beer. It's like I'd like I'd honestly I'd like to go to the brewery and oh like, god, so go to brewery, go to Dub like... go to Dublin. We can oh, do a yeah. Guinness and a. Uh, Smittix tour. Maybe a future episode. Yeah, uh, Guinness. On the road in Dublin. Yeah. I was saying, my cousin actually went to the Guinness Brewery. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Emma went, too. She oh. she thought it was amazing. I was like, that's history right there. That's historic. That, I, 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 I respect Guinness, and everybody says you have to try like Guinness in Ireland, because yeah. it's entirely different here. So maybe I'll like it when we get to that point. But we're not drinking Guinness tonight, Adam. No, we are not. We're drinking Smittix. And I would like to go for it. Uh, 
have this in Ireland as well. Mm -hmm. We can um, go to our uh, Peoria's sister town. Hmm? Um, what is a... Uh, so where did the Smittics come from? Do you know? Or what do you is, mean? So it, everybody calls it Smittics, but it clearly says Smith Wicks. It's just a pronunciation. It's a pronunciation thing. It's just a pronunciation, okay. man. All right. Well, I say we should probably go ahead and... Uh, can you imagine a person in Ireland trying to pronounce Smithwicks? Pretty heavy head on this one. That's a very dark amber ale. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like it's got a nice color though. It's, it's like it's almost a like very... a it's like a light coffee, like a you know, like you get a, like a a cold brew coffee, like in a can or in a plastic bottle. Yeah, almost. It's really dark, but it's very light. It's a, for like a darker. Well, what am I, what am I, I feel like it's about? like a very dark caramel. Like it's yes. like a almost like a burnt caramel. Yeah. Color. Like a roast, like almost like pre-roasted coffee beans. Sort of yeah. Meal. I don't know about that part. It's got a nice color. I mean, I like. Yeah. The, I don't. I don't red. like dark stuff, so I like. I like that I'm able to see through it. <laughs> yeah, this smells like beer. It smells like a really good beer. A lot of malt. It smells great, though. It does. It, uh, I, I mean, you I'm, are way I'm too excited. excited this, I'm very you? excited. Uh, so what do you say? Give her a taste. Clickies. Hey. Oh, that's so nice. It's just, it's such a, I know beer in itself is smooth, but this is just. Something about it just smooth. goes down so easily. It's like, it's the right amount of carbonation. Thick. Yeah, but it's also the right amount of carbonation. Yeah. Where a not, lot of beers get too much carbonation in it. And it just like, you know, that's why you see people chug it. Some beers are like, I can't drink anymore, there's too much carbonation, and they just start burping crazily yeah. amounts. This has like little carbonation, even though it's got a really good head on it. But if you know if I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but in the beer, there's not a lot of bubbles in the actual beer itself. You can see a few making their way to the top, but it's not like it's not like a crazy amount. Like when I go to a bar and I get like a draft bud light or something, it's just Constant. That half half of that Bud Light is literally carbonation, right? right. <laughs> it's just, but no, this is. I really, it's a, it's I really, a very smooth. Yeah, I really hate the fact that we're like referring beers to Bud Light, like it's a bad thing. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing. There's nothing wrong with. No, Bud there's Light. nothing. There's nothing we're wrong just, with it. We're it's, saying like that's a general beer that people will yeah, understand. That's that's a standard beer that everyone has pretty much tried at one point in their lives. Right. Where, like. When you turn 21 and not before you turn 21. You don't really know what else to order. I'm just, uh, I'll get a Bud, Bud Light. Light. <laughs> I've never been to a bar. Well, we've already tasted it. We know this is going to be good. Oh, let's go ahead and let's just top it off because we both know that we're going to slam these things. Whatever's left in the bottle just fell out. Oh. Ah, I spilled a, a little bit. That was a bad pour. Yeah, you had a really bad pour. I need, I need to work on my pouring. It's been a while. Your pouring? What? <laughs> it's pouring. Oh. Like the old man who was snoring. Well, it is raining outside. It is raining outside, actively. <laughs> Where's that old man at? You gotta love December. You go, you go from 63 December degrees. Central Illinois. Yeah, you go from 63 degrees one week to 25 the next day. <laughs> and it starts raining. You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take one for the team. Ooh. Even so, the foam isn't that bad. <laughs> Even though you just went, ooh. I was like, ooh, because it was ooh. just like weird. All right. I think I think we just need to make it come out with a shirt and just has like our faces on it that it's just like, ugh. Like just, and then it just says, oh, on the top and then gibberish in the middle between the our two faces. And then put my lord <laughs> on the back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my lord sponsorship deal. If you want to, hey, we're, we're in, in. We're, we're in. We'll look up. We're, we're definitely we'll in. All righty, sir. Cheers. Happy holidays. I I don't recommend <laughs> chugging it. Um based off of what? So it surprisingly does it I mean it, it you can. You can chug it. It's it's not like it doesn't it's not a bad chug. This probably it just it's it it kind of kills the taste. It kills the taste, yeah. I would say this, this, and this, honestly, like we say this with a lot of beers or drinks we try mm -hmm. on here, you should probably not chug this just out of the fact of it's a good beer and you should just drink it normally. Right. 
And so I'll have to agree with you on that because a lot of the flavor, all I could feel was the carbonation. It, it was a lot of carbonation. And to me, it's like, I don't, I don't want this beer to be super hoppy. It's not an mm -hmm. IPA. It's like, this is supposed to be more malt, more like yeah. easy going. And when you chug it, you get a heavy taste of hops. Right. It's all that just hitting you. So I, I, I definitely do not recommend chugging it. Mm -hmm. You can if you absolutely needed to. But I don't recommend it. Mm -hmm. I say, um, I love Semitics. I, like ever since you like, have you ever had a Semitics? I'm like, what's that? He's like, <gasps> like Adam. <laughs> like whenever I tell Adam I haven't tried something or like, well, let me rephrase that. <laughs> <laughs> whenever Adam like, I ever Adam asked me if I've like eaten at one place or drank something, and I'm I'd be like, oh no, I haven't. He usually gets his face up. <gasps> Oh my god, I know what we're going to do tonight. <laughs> I'm excited because it gives me a base of like what we can do. It's exactly. Like, I like it. I like exposing people to different things. Like right. something that they wouldn't have thought to try. Like we go to an Irish bar, he's not going to think to try Smittix on his own. He's or a Guinness guy. Or let, me throw, let me throw that out there. Magners yeah. is a really good cider. Right. Maybe Excuse we'll do me. that in a future episode too. That, that I will I will say like Magners is a really bizarre like, but really good cider. It's yeah. so different from other ciders I have because a lot of, like, you know, you got Angry Orchard and you got mm -hmm. uh, uh, Reds. Yeah. Uh, but for some, it's made in Ireland. I think it's made in Ireland. Uh, you know where we should go? Um, there's, a, there's a cidery in Jefferson County, Iowa, mm -hmm. which is just outside of Des Moines. And we Emma and I went. It's, it's really cool and it's really good. Like, you introduced me to this, and I really like it. Like, this is pretty much taken over my Guinness. You know, if I get an Irish beer, I want this rather than a Guinness. A Guinness, at this point now, I kind of, like, need to be in the mood for. Yeah. Um, car bombs. Yeah, mainly car bombs. <laughs> yeah, Irish car bombs. Oh, chocolate milk. But, um, so, for those who don't know, I do, like, uh, Highland Games, which is the guys who wear the kilts, or the skirts, as some people want to call them. It's a skirt. And they throw telephone poles and stuff for weight, for heights and distances. And whenever I go to one of those things, I always usually end up getting, you know, like a Smittix or like maybe a Magners or a Guinness, you know, because that's where they're going to have them. They're going to have them at Irish festivals. Mm -hmm. And that is like the perfect place to have them. Right. And, but then when you experiment like that and you find like all these different types of beers that you've never had, you know, you'll find something that you'll really like. And this yeah. is usually my go-to. I say, this is just, it's such a, I'm not, I'm not going to say, <laughs> I'm not going to say it. It's, it's like the basic beer. I don't want to say basic in a bad way. Yeah. Just like it's, it's, if you're trying to branch out a little bit and you're at like an Irish bar or something and you want to try something that's like a little more exclusive. Yeah. This is definitely what you should go to. And the thing is, it's not necessarily exclusive. You can find this anywhere all over the country. Yeah, I just, but it, you know, it, it's a very good beer. If you and don't want to go to an Irish bar and order a Bud Light, Bush Light, some random domestic. You can't do that. Do this. Do this. It's it, <laughs> it, it, it's a game changer it for is. sure. Definitely. So with that, uh, any, anything else you want to throw in there? Well, we got to give our review. Got to give our review. Oh, I thought we were already doing the review. I mean, we got to give our star rating. Oh, your star rating. Going five stars on this one. Yeah. Out of one, well, one out of five, zero out of five, or whatever. So you want me to go first? Yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna give this a solid four. Solid uh, four. You know, I'm like I don't drink these too often, but I love having them when I do. Mm -hmm. And it, I mean, it's just a really good beer. You know, I don't feel it's it, the thing is, it's not that heavy. No, it's not. If, if I mean, I don't know if they main made meant to make this like a heavier beer, but it is definitely it's very smooth. It goes down easy. Mm -hmm. It's a great sipper. Um, yeah, so I'm a solid four. I'm with you. Yeah, I like it out of four. I like it out but, of four. I mean, I like it out of four. I, I there's other beers obviously out there that I would take over. <laughs> <laughs> I would take over this, but when I'm in the mood for it, this is a very, very, very good beer. It's a good choice. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. So I'm with you. I'm at a four out of five. Uh, so it, highly recommend it. Yeah. Give it every, a try. Everyone says, like, Guinness is the Irish beer. It's like, man, nah, th th this is. Uh, they got a competitor. Guinness, Guinness is historic, but. This is like I said, it, it three hundred years. I'd, yeah, three hundred years. Pretty historic. Yeah, three hundred <laughs> years. Three, yeah. So, anyways, 
I'm Blake. That's Adam. Adam. And with that, give me a beer. All right. All right.